Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is a next 24 hour star reading session for you, Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. Let us see what is the guided message for the Sagittarius sign. This is the next 24 hour star reading session for the Sagittarius sign, please. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, Sagittarius, I invite you to check out the main channel. Okay? Yep, this is going to be uploaded here. So, I have a main channel and the name of the main channel is Sunshine. Please also follow me there. Uh, to make it easier for you, I will put the link of the, um, the main channel. Okay? Sorry, guys. Let me just reset my energy. Alright, so this reading for today, Sagittarius, this is the next 24 hours reading. It's more like a guided reading in here, a daily guided message for you. I'm starting to channel in July and August, okay? I've also uploaded your July month reading. If you want to check it out, I will put everything in the description box below for you, Sagittarius, alright? Let's see what's coming towards you. What is the guided message for Sagittarius in love, career, money and general situationship what is the current energies for you what is the guided message for you what's coming towards you please what can i get for sagittarius Ooh, six of wands wow queen of swords hidden energy five of cups okay the three of wands you've got the chariot card in here okay and this card wanted to come out you've got the king of wands this is you wanting to unleash something okay let's start the reading so you're starting the reading with the four of pentacles and you've got the king of wands in here okay let me just move this um i would say you're starting you're starting something slow but steady okay because your jumper card is the king of wands. If you if you look at the king of wands, you've got, you know, relationship. And then you've got the lion, which is your ambition. And then very progressive. If you look at the king of wands, you feel very confident, very progressive. However, you have the four of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, and the four of swords. This is four and four. So something tells me that you're sitting in a vibe where you're very, like you want to assure yourself. Okay, like something tells me in the next 24 hours, two to three days from now, you want to reassure or assure assurance security. Okay, you're moving slowly towards your goal, whether it's a short term goal, whether it's a long term goal, um, you're moving towards it with caution. You're, you're moving towards it slowly, but surely. You have your eye in your target, okay? In your ambition. Um, but I really feel like the way you're doing it is that you want to secure yourself first, that that is what you want before you really blow your fire or your spark. You know, it's more of like you're swaying, like looking at it, you know, serving it, feeling the passion, you know, imagine, you know, the fire dancing in, you know, imagine a bonfire, it's swaying, it's dancing, and it's really mesmerizing to look at how the fire, you know, dance. And then I really feel like once you have really connected perfectly to your object of your desire or whatever it is that you want then you would lit the bonfire higher okay so you've got your eye on a project maybe a romantic situation maybe an expansion but somehow you're still gathering details gathering information like you want to secure something before you lit the fire but the, the fire is lit but it's medium like it's medium flame so your passion is lit, but it's not the full wave 
of passion in here okay i like your strategy to be honest with you i like the way you are gathering you know you're gathering your requirements you're gathering details you're reading experimenting you're doing simulation you're writing but you're doing it passionately and perfectly so i love your vibe the king of wands and another king of wands look at that you know what this is the past and this is the future like you know past current future so you are threading slowly with whatever you want this is some it's a very disciplined kind of king of wands like you don't just strike you know no 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 you don't you don't want to lose your time or make a mistake in here you're a very secure you know um king of wands security is your domain in here so whatever you're driven to do or whatever you want to do or achieve do it in confident and when you have all of the details strike you know turn on the flame the bonfire lit it up so they can feel how passionate you are so you can really put your passion in full bloom because if you put a lot of love and a lot of passion in anything that you do it would grow it would grow it would get to the outcome that that's why you know sometimes when you fall in love to a person you put a lot of energy to that person they bloom and then somehow you forget about yourself so at this time you know your limitation like you would secure first before you pour your heart out into something like you're somehow you're fit like this is two version of king of wands the past king of wands this is i would say an updated king of wands where he's learned his lesson okay so go for it whatever this one is go for it because the universe is conspiring to your technique to your style but if you if you're kind of wanting to launch to reply to respond to follow up gather all details and most of all gather your confident okay gather your confident you know like re you you've got to feel the vibe okay this is the right time okay that's it so good on you sagittarius now let's look into relationship okay so the second reading let's look into your next 24 hours reading in terms of relationship it could be platonic it could be romantic let us see who is thinking about you what they're feeling towards you who are the people that would connect with you who has the most energy and interest towards you it could be platonic it could be romantic it could be professional you could be dealing with a scorpio an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy in here. Let's look at the Tower card. Seven of Swords. The Page of Wands. So in the next 24 hours, there is, I would say, a spicy, a hot pursuit message. This could be romantic, this Tower card, because it has a Seven of Swords in here. Um, ta The Tower card they're going to break their silence the seven of swords the page of wands it looks like this person is someone you block or maybe they block you but they have unblocked you now you might also get a surprising call or text to unfamiliar number but it's a familiar person so it's possible that they have a new number okay the seven of swords the page of wands yep eight of cups in here so the tower card, it looks like you've given up with them or they've given up with you. Now they would like to change the future. It looks like the fate between the two of you is like, okay, we just give up. Like this person gave up, you gave up, and you move on, they move on. But then there's a seven of swords. They had a detour, like somebody maneuvered it back. Um, I feel like the way you break up or separated or disconnected with this person, it was really immature. It was improper. You could have saved it and they could have saved it, but you guys didn't really work out on saving it. But here they are. And I believe you also follow up with this person. You did follow up with this person. Here they are with a different number or they will connect or... You know, I'm really picking up that Whoever this tower card 
it is an acquaintance it could be romantic it could be a male it could be a female it could be someone younger than you it could be overseas but you have not thought of them for quite some time now like i'm really picking up that you haven't really thought of them for quite some time now whoever this person is they've to be honest with you could be it's an ex when i say ex it's an ex acquaintance it's an ex friend it's an ex love interest but mainly the energy because the hidden energy is the five of cups in here so they're very sad on how you guys have separated or disconnected it could be a female boss it could be a male boss it could it's a person okay it's a person it's a person who has your number who has your contact and i'm really seeing that they keep calling you but you don't answer the phone because you don't know their number or you you deleted them something tells me that the number is unfamiliar with you but then once they text you you would know that no other person could message me this way okay they will they will call you in a specific name or they will send you a message that you will quite you will instantly be reminded aha okay this is a company or this is this person okay yeah king of swords again so there's a king and a queen you've got some sort of unfinished business in here i really feel like this person what's in their mind it's that it makes sense to contact you again okay i'm really hearing the word it would it makes sense to reach out with you it will not sense if they won't reach out because something is bothering them like they're both sad unhappy and they're coming to a point where okay it doesn't make sense if i will be unhappy and very bothered without doing anything so they're very bothered about losing the deal or losing you but they mainly want to clarify something or to bring a subject the subject matter or a discussion where if there was slip up you know it feels like there's a i don't know why i'm hearing the word white white space and i'm seeing like a white space or it means that it it bothers me that we don't talk or there was there was a slip up and you gave up i gave up you know so to end to end this five of cups i should just call you or text you like something tells me this person is like it's been bothering them it's been it's been bothering them for quite some time now um this is around march april may for some of you but it could also be like a job it could be any person in your life who you had some disconnection and some flare up and the way you end up things was not really really clear and i'm seeing this person looking into the calendar like it's 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 you know it's june to july and i haven't heard from sagittarius so it's bothering them i'm really hearing the word it's bothering them a lot hmm. and this person is also with with the you know the five of cups is sagittarius still single is sagittarius still available is sagittarius still willing to connect or to work with me because i'm kind of picking up a strong vibe that it could be connected to work business um it could also be romantic it's far away from like being friends like it, it like maybe 15 percent. it could be a friend it could be a relative but it's most likely like a love interest or someone connected to a work or a business profession yeah the king of cups they really miss you someone really miss you and they're bothered that it's been so long and they need to move i'm really hearing the word that this person i'm bothered that they haven't heard from you um there's a white space i'm really hearing the word um there's a white space it feels like this person they have moved on and you are their priority like they will prioritize you over any other person or situation in their life um you're very focused into somewhere or something else 
while this person prioritize you and i'm seeing calendar so this person is not just going to you know text you or call you or randomly connect no this is well planned you are now their priority listening to you gathering requirements writing what you want i don't know i'm seeing contracts and you it could also be like love because the outcome is and the advice is a three of wands the chariot card it means that if you reconcile or reconnect or if you let them in if you explore this this is a full reconciliation you have a future with them like if you if you are going to be convinced by this person or company or boss or manager most like yeah then there, you got a future you know three of wands this is like your future will change like the future of you and this person it could be in a whole new level yeah four of wands this could be a reconciliation between an ex-partner boss manager job business partner or could be also romantic i'm hearing the word white space it means they have moved on and they're also wishing that you have moved on and they're also wishing that you're single or you're available for this job or for their offer the chariot card they're in a hurry june month they regret they didn't take action july okay number seven they would like to really pursue you oh my gosh king of cups they meant every word they say sagittarius and ace of wands if this is job they promise you a good pay if this is love they promise you a hot date <laughs> like this person like just hear me out just one date and hear me out give me a chance <laughs> sag you are very very in demand so this is your reading thank you so much for connecting with me thank you so much for being here please don't forget to watch the full month of july reading i'll put the link down in the description box below and also please follow me in my main channel everything every, all of the link will be in the description box below thank you sag i'll connect with you soon again guys you have a great day